Hey, what's going on guys? And today I wanted to do a video review for the iHome uh, vacuum cleaner. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'll talk a little bit about the setup and then I'll actually show you the phone application that works with this and then talk a little bit about some of the functions of this. So um, I actually had a Roomba in the past, you know, another brand that's been very popular and now these things are very common to find these types of vacuums. So um, I've used a few of these and this one's actually really awesome. Um, so I'll kind of go through some of the functions of it. You have your power button here and then a home button so you can send this back. This is currently in charging mode so you can see it just kind of blinks here. On the base of it you have a spinning um, piece here that actually is uh, the vacuum and the actual piece that picks up all the debris. Um, on the back there's two silver pieces that then connect to the base station that allows this to charge. You have a charging symbol up here as well and then this just plugs into your wall somewhere nearby. So this is actually set up here in our basement. You can see this is a pretty large surface area where we have this set up. It's about a thousand square feet. So the cool thing about this is once you plug all this in, um, you're gonna be able to set up the phone app and I'll load this here just to show you on my phone. <clears throat> Basically, this is the app here. Um, you're able to add the device. This particular one is the AutoVac Nova and you can see the battery shows 99%. I can now go into this and it actually will create a map of the entire area. So um, I haven't used it because I just recently had to, um, I just got a new phone, so this actually hasn't run yet since doing that, but this will actually draw a map on this area here. I may even be able to go through some of the settings, maybe we could demo it, but this has an auto clean mode. You can do power mop where this can actually mop. You can do an area clean as well as a spot clean, and you can choose to mop while cleaning. So you've got a few options there. You can choose to start the vacuum with the plus here, um, you can also send the vacuum back home. Everything has voice prompts. So if I hit auto clean and then we do start cleaning, start auto cleaning, you can see it just says start auto cleaning. And this actually has a camera on it. So it's immediately going to start looking ahead of where the vacuum is. You can see it's literally spinning around and the camera is going to determine, you know, where are all the corners. So it's going to start figuring out, you know, what are the objects? What are the things in the way? And this is gonna go around and essentially clean the entire house. Um, and it's already starting to map. You can see it picked up that corner there where it is now. So it's gonna draw a whole map of the area and then basically determine where it needs to go. And if I want this to start, you know, stop early, I can actually jump into the phone app here and you can see there's a pause button and there's also a home button. I'm just gonna hit the home button. And this is actually going to go back to the unit here and the unit has a suction dust collector built into it. So this is actually going to automatically pick up any debris that it would have picked up and it will make a vacuum sound as it goes. So you can see here it's going to come right back. We'll give it a second. I think it's just trying to figure out exactly where to go. And I believe, I don't know if it will do the dust collector function. It didn't run all that long, obviously. Probably didn't pick up that much, but it may run that either way. So once this finishes um, going onto the base, you'll hear after a few seconds, I believe, I, the first time it did it, I was actually, I was letting it go and I was upstairs doing other things and you could hear it and it was actually quite loud when it does the dust collection. But there it is connecting to the battery terminals to get it charging again. And then it just goes back to charging. So it may not actually do the dust collection um, because obviously it's not that full, but as it gets full, um, you know, if it does like a whole room, obviously this will come back and then, um, you know, do like a vacuum sound and it will suck the debris into this unit, which you could then empty later, which is really cool. So you could continuously run this and then eventually just empty the bigger bin as needed. But um, I'm very happy with the unit. I love that it has like the intelligent sensing, it has a camera, so it's looking around to figure out, you know, where are the objects. And then next time it goes to vacuum, it can do like a pattern. And usually what it does is kind of a, a squiggly design. It will just kind of go like this up and down the room and it will get everywhere that it's found. So it works really quite well. I'm very happy with it and honestly was more impressed with it than I thought I'd be. But yeah, I thought I'd do a video review. Hopefully you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.